Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Um, this one is a tutorial and it's slightly different in terms that it is in Sony Vegas and this is a uh, request from Nintendo Fan Call, one of my subs, who asked how I put the timecode into into my speed challenge videos. Um, so I, I edit in Sony Vegas, this is Sony Vegas Pro 8. Um, I think it should work in later revisions of it. I don't know about earlier, but later I'm sure they've um, they've kept this this handy little tool in. I can't really talk for any other types of uh, editors because they might have a, a, a different kind of setup or might use something a bit different. Um, but as for Sony Vegas, I know fairly well, so uh, I think I should be able to explain this quite easily. I think I hope anyway. So yeah, sorry this isn't like a, a usual sort of video that I do, but hopefully this will help um, help that, that subscriber that asked for it, and also anyone else that is wondering or uh, looking for a tutorial on how to do it. So anyway, um, how you go about adding a timecode over over a video. So right here you can see I've got my video, uh, you can see it running up here. Um, this is another speed challenge that I'm going to release soon. Um, so I need to put a uh, timecode over it. What you need to do is insert video track. Um, you want the video track to go above uh, all the rest of your edited stuff. You then want to insert text media. You want to get rid of the text though and just leave it blank. Um, so it's completely blank like that. But you want to adjust the length of it. So as a word of advice, I'd say you want to have it for as long as you possibly can. Uh, I think the longest you can do is 23 or 26 minutes. And basically, what that means is it, it will repeat itself after this time. So, as a default, I think it's set to five minutes. You can see here the keyframe ends at five, or that's just updated there to end at 23. Um, but normally, it's five seconds you get. But you want to amend that so that it's as long as possible. And the reason for that is because I will show you right here. Um, I can extend this this section out for as long as I want. Well, for up to 23 minutes in in this right hand direction but if I go backwards here you'll see that there's a little mark appears right here and what that means is that the video will repeat at that point so if you imagine that is zero and the time's going down counting 23 minutes down from here um, it will loop back around so this will be the end of the 23 minutes and what it will do is continually loop so as soon as you see that you know that the video will start again from zero and what I mean by that is that the timestamp will reset to zero and begin counting out the 23 minutes again uh, which you don't want so you want to keep that for uh, as long as possible basically you want to keep it for longer than the time you want to oh sorry about that the time you want to put a um, timestamp on so let's say I just want to put a timestamp on this I don't know what is this these two minutes here. I want to make sure that the, the timestamp starts at the point that I want it to. So let's say you want it to start at that screen and you want it to end um, after whatever your cutoff point is. So let's say you want it to end there. So it's going to start at that point um, for twelve, uh, 4 minutes and 12 seconds and it will end, let's say I want it to end um, at 7.31. And what you need to do is right click on it and media effects you don't want to use video event effects because this won't quite work in the same way it has to be the media effects part uh, what you want to do is add sony timecode add and ok and then you can adjust where you want it like horizontal middle top bottom wherever you want i find that on the right on the bottom is pretty good at about 0.7 ish kind of looks pretty neat to me um, you want to amend this to well, you can choose whatever you want. I find that time and frames work best. Unfortunately, you get a third digit on the end, and the time does tend to move a little bit. But I think the other ones aren't quite as um, aren't quite as good. Uh, and some of them don't count out a full minute. Some of them are, are, are weird. They're not like a full 30, um, 60 seconds to a minute sort of thing, and it can count out a, a bit of a weird time. So I would say just to stick with uh, time and frames here. Um, that's your best bet. So there you go, you can see it's running away quite nicely there. Uh, like I said, it moves a bit, so you might want to play about and see what you prefer. Um, but this is a quick video, so it doesn't, doesn't matter too much about that. Um, the only other thing you might want to do, so that's running away 28 seconds, and it would have started at where we wanted it to. There you go, introduces, and one second, two seconds. If you want to pause the video, or if you want to 
the timer to count down a little bit slower or a little bit quicker. The way to do that is to insert, remove envelope and velocity envelope. You want to right click on the line and you want to do this first. You want to go to hold. So it's right click and hold. You want to make sure that's on hold first. Then you want to find the point you want to slow down the timer. Let's say I want to slow it down here when I'm coming out of the cave. Uh, let's say I want to stop the timer. You want to add point and then add another point when you want the timer to continue so let's say right there I want it to continue I'll put another point there and what that you can then do because you've uh, used the hold fade um, that right click that's just styles of fade and you want it to hold and what that means is you can just drag that down or up and it will immediately when it hits that point it will immediately stop the timer um, and the way to pause it is you want to right click on the first point set to and 0% which means that the video will just stop the timer will just stop so hopefully you will see when it hits this point the timer will stop and it will continue at this point so let's just give it a try so there you go uh, 218 the timer stopped and if we just continue it from down here 218 and then it's continuing um, for, uh, if you wanted to do something a bit different, I don't know, maybe you want to set it to go at twice the speed, so you want 200%, you will see that when it hits that point, it will start going twice as quick, so that's counting every half second. A um, bit confusing, but that's how it works. But yeah, so that's how you pause and make the time go quicker or slower or whatever you want. Uh, and that's basically how you do it. Um, the only thing I would be careful about doing is if you move this this uh, section here obviously it will move the time uh, the time start position and the hold position and that sort of stuff it'll all get all get confused um, but that I think that pretty much explains it um, so I'm going to go ahead and put on the timer for this video and I'll probably upload that at some point soon um, but yeah I hope that helped out anyone that's um, searching on how to f add a time code to a file whether it's a, a Minecraft video or another video or a COD video or anything like that I think this should uh, should explain fairly well what you need to do. If it doesn't and you've got some questions, just leave something in the comments and I will uh, get back to you and try and help you out um, as best I can. Um, but yeah, like I said, as long as you follow the tips in this video, I think you should be fine. Uh, an important one to do is just to make sure you choose the media effects and not the video event. Uh, if you choose the video event effects, you'll find that you won't be able to pause the video by, by adding velocity. It has to be media. Um, I've been caught out with that a couple of times, so that's something just to bear in mind. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please uh, please leave a like or a comment or uh, or favourite it or whatever you want to do. Um, it's always really appreciated. And uh, if you found it particularly useful, please subscribe. Uh, I do a few Minecraft videos, but I'm no doubt going to be doing some more uh, Vegas ones just to help out anyone that wants to know. Um, but yeah, so cheers for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Cheers.